Okay, so last lecture we got very confused about fundamental truths, about when can we believe this marker and when should we not believe it. And we decided in the end that we do like to believe what the marker is saying about triangles made of straight sides, that we had confusion what straight even meant, and that the three angles of a triangle the marker says want to add up to jump, 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 half a turn, we'll take that as a fundamental belief about flat geometry, the geometry we wish to study. So we're going to say, let's believe the marker on matters of what it says about the basic triangles. So we've got a triangle with three straight sides, the three interior angles are sure to add up to 180 degrees. So we'll take that as the beginning theory of geometry. And the great geometer Euclid also did the same thing. There is a slightly different starting point than us, but gets to the same place as us. Triangles, the three angles, are sure to add up to 180 degrees. Actually, Euclid was a very clever fellow because he also took another fundamental belief. His fourth axiom leads us to say what we like to believe about straight lines. He really thought about the question of what is a line, what does it mean for a line to be straight? Now, earlier we said that we like to believe a straight line represents a turn of 180 degrees because you can't see it. Okay? And he said, actually, I believe that's a property of straight lines. In fact, he managed to prove in his theory of geometry that whenever you've got two angles on a straight line, you can be sure they add up to 180 degrees, which feels right to us and in some sense is trying to capture what he mean, we mean by straight, that every point on the line should represent an angle of 180 degrees. Okay, so that is in some sense the two key points in our beginning theory of geometry. This is what confused us last lecture. We're going to make them as givens, that we're going to choose to believe because they feel so right and natural to us, at least in a theory of flat geometry. But then that begs the question, we're going to believe the marker for triangles, then should we believe the marker for everything else we did in an earlier lecture? For example, we talked about quadrilaterals, four-sided shapes, that the th four angles add up to one full turn. The marker says one full turn. Zoom, 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 one full turn. Okay, so we know we can't trust the marker in general, but we are going to believe it for triangles. Does that mean we should believe it for quadrilaterals? Can we actually prove the four angles there add up to 360 degrees without relying on the marker? I mean, we can be inspired by what the marker is saying, but I think our job now is to actually prove what's saying is true in this theory of flat geometry. So, so what can we do? How can we prove those four angles really do add up to 360 as the marker seems to be saying? Well, what we know about the marker is triangles. So can we get triangles in this picture? And the answer is yes, yes we can. It seems very natural to draw that line there and chop this quadrilateral into two triangles. In which case, we know those three angles add up to 180 degrees, and we know these three angles also add up to 180 degrees, which I think then means all the angles in the quadrilateral, which would be this one, and 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 this one together, that constitutes all the four angles in the quadrilateral, have to add up to a total of 180 plus 180, 360 degrees, one full turn. So actually, the marker inspired truth about the angles in the quadrilateral. And I think you could argue it's going to also inspire truth about the angles in this quadrilateral as well. We're a little bit confused about that at a previous lecture, but I can see I could do the same thing. Divide into two triangles, the three angles there up to 180, we're choosing to believe it. Three angles there up to 180, because we're choosing to believe it, which means all four angles inside even that quadrilateral must add up to 360 degrees. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's see, what else do we do? Um, earlier on, we had the marker actually told us about vertical angles, that this angle and this angle represent the same amount of turning, the same measures. Okay, that's what the marker was telling me, zoom, versus zoom, same, all right? But can we really trust the marker? Is it inspiring truth though? Can we prove it without the marker? And the answer is yes. We can use our fundamental beliefs as follows. Uh, we can do like a little algebra exercise in this one. Maybe I'll call this angle measure A, I'll call this angle measure B, and we want to prove that the values of A and B are the same. And one way to do it is to look at this picture and call this angle some other name, X. In which case, what I believe about straight lines, A plus X must equal 180 degrees. And also, what we believe about straight lines, B plus X must have a measure of 180 degrees. Which means A is 180 minus X, and B is 180 minus X, which is the same. Beautiful. So what our marker said earlier about angle A, zoom, versus angle B, zoom, 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 is indeed speaking truth. 
All right, so this is the game I'd like to check. I'm gonna go through all the results we've done in the past and actually just check what the market says, even though we can't trust the market, is speaking, inspiring some truth nonetheless. So I need to clean the board because I wanna talk about pentagons and exterior angles and all sorts of other things. Back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Maybe the board's a little bit smudgy, but maybe it's good enough for now. So here's a pentagon, a five-sided shape. And I believe the market earlier, we were playing with this, said that the five angles inside this pentagon should add up to one and a half turns. That is uh, three groups of 180, 540 degrees. All right, that's what the market's inspiring us to say, is can we actually now prove it? And I think the answer is yes, because I think you can probably see how to chop this into, what, be one, two, three triangles? So I'll have 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, making up all those angles inside the pentagon. So yes, those five angles add up to 540 degrees. And then you can do 11 sided shapes, develop a general theory, and so on and so on. It looks like the marker's inspiring truth. All right, but the other thing we did was actually not the inside angles, we did something called exterior angles last time. The idea was to move along a side, but go beyond and push it beyond the side of the book, go a little bit further this way, and look at that angle there. And then go along the side and keep going a little bit further and look at that angle there. And then go along the side a little bit further, that angle there, that angle there, that angle there. So people call those the exterior angles of the figure. All right. And the marker was saying earlier on that those five exterior angles, zoom, 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 oh, my arm's getting twisted, constitute one full turn, 360 degrees of turning. So let's see if we can now prove that. So that's a, something, that's a theorem, or that's a, an idea being inspired by the marker. Can we now prove it as a theorem? Something we know is logically true from our beginning assumptions. All right, so it might be a little bit of work, but, but let's do it. I'm, I'm up for the work. So let's give these angles names. So this has measure A, this is measure B, C, D, E. So we want to prove that A plus B plus C plus D plus E, the sum of those five measures equals 360 degrees. And all I've got this picture to go on is these five interior angles. All right, so you're probably not gonna like my notation, so I should probably give these different names, but I think the idea of what I'm about to put on the board is gonna be fine. For example, I know that A plus dot is 180 degrees, plus B plus this other dot, it's a different angle, I shouldn't use the same symbol, that's, my, that's why people should quibble with me. B plus dot is another 180 degrees, plus C plus dot is another 180 degrees, plus D plus dot, is another 180 degrees, plus E plus dot is another 180 degrees, so I've just done 580 degrees. 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, plus 180 degrees, am I still on the board? I don't know. All right, beautiful. But we said moments ago that these five different angles, each represented by the same dot, add up to three groups of 180 degrees, 540. So this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, and this dot constitute three of these 180s, which means A plus B plus C plus D plus E adds up to what's left over, two groups of 180, 360 degrees. Yes, the marker inspired truth, and now we've proved it does follow from our basic beginning assumptions of flat geometry, beautiful, Wonderful and fabulous. And I bet you could do an analogous proof for a six-sided shape or a seven-sided shape. In fact, maybe develop a general argument for any sided shape that if the exterior angles of any polygon is sure to be going, uh, adding up to 360 degrees. So I guess I'm assuming my marker is always turning to the left. I'm doing a polygon that bulges out. My polygon caves in like that uh, diamond shape thing we had before. Maybe the theory is more interesting. All right, so one last puzzle then. I remember leaving off with a lopsided five-pointed star. Just draw a lopsided five-pointed star. And I believe a puzzle we had at the end of a previous video was, what does the marker say about the five angles at the tips of those points? And you may have realized that the marker says these five angles add up to 180 degrees. If you believe the marker, zoom, zoom, zoom that says these should add up to half a turn, 180 degrees. So now the job is, is the market actually speaking truth there for us, given our fundamental results? Knowing that angles and triangles add up to 180, and knowing that angles on lines add up to 180, can you now prove that indeed, those five, five pointy bits on that star, those five angles there, do actually add up to 180 degrees as well? Can you come up with a nice geometric proof now? This is great stuff. All right, so can't believe the marker, but I think we should be inspired by the marker to see what it says and then see if we can prove it. Love it.